All right, good morning everybody. Today is Saturday, August 22nd. Uh, purpose of the video today is to show uh, flying the mist approach with using the GTN 650 and the autopilot to, do, to fly the mist. I haven't done that with this plane. I did it with my Diamond, but I want to try it and see how it works. Go down to Socorro and do it down there. And uh, I'll just show the takeoff, the uh, mist approach, the hold, and then the landing back here. So it should be a relatively uh, short video. And I'm going to use my uh, phone camera today instead of the other one to see how that works. If it works great, great. If it doesn't, you won't be seeing this video. Okay, let's get started. And I'm gonna put the camera. Alright, first thing I want to do is load the approach. So we'll go to procedure, approach, we'll go K O N M Socorro, yes. And we want to do the VORA. And we'll do the transition will be the uh, VOR. No course reversal. Load and activate. Okay. Crank up on this guy. It's 4443. Five minutes to push. Okay. Yeah. 4443. Grand Roger. I'll work on your phone. Delta's Grand. I'll talk to you as soon as we get to the hold short line. Delta's Grand. 4443. Coming up on the hold short line for 1 2. That's uh, a runway they rarely use, but it's more direct. I asked for it. Got it. So I'll switch over to tower here in a second. We're getting done taxi and I've already done the run up. Both fuel pumps are on, the landing lights on, chokes off. Brake is currently gonna be on. And we're gonna go over to tower and dial in 239 as our backup. So, ready to go. Upgrade tower, but still 585. Or my cold short one two ready for takeoff. Bristol 585 November, Mike Albuquerque Tower, wind 010 at 5, runway 12 at Echo, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 12 at Echo, 5, Mike. Alright. All looking good. Engine instruments are good. Got uh, Started out with 32 gallons, full tanks, at 31.6 after taxiing. Light up. Need to reset our heading bug so as we get lined up. And about right there. Ready for takeoff. Let the big dog eat. Here we go. Albuquerque Tower, Skyhawk 113, Bumble Alpha, Holy Crow at runway 8. Airspeed's alive. 38 knots. 43. Skyhawk 113, Bravo Alpha, Albuquerque Tower, Holy Crow release. Here we go. Up, up, and away. Yippee! Got the brakes. Yeah, looking good. Let's go full turbo. What do you say? Empire 8774. Are you ready? Uh, affirmative 8774. Yeah. 39.8 inches. 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 39.8 inches
we've got plenty of ways to go. And again, the whole point of this video is to see if the autopilot and the GTN, well, I know it can fly the MIS, but if I can operate it to good enough to fly the MIS, uh, which will uh, save your bacon in uh, certain circumstances. The MIS approach point is actually 18 miles from the VOR, so we'll come in high at 6540 because the field elevation is actually uh, 4875. So the uh, minimum of ascent altitude is pretty high, and that's because of the rising terrain all around. So we'll go down, hit the missed approach point, then I'm assuming that the GTN is going to roll over to allow me to activate missed approach, uh, then activate and navigate on the uh, autopilot, and it should fly. We'll see what happens. So uh, I'll talk to you probably yeah, as soon as we get closer to the missed approach point, but you know what's going on now. Okay, we've got uh, 7.2 miles to uh, uh, GPS point. We've got 12.1 miles to the airport. I've already uh, got the minimums. We are at minimums. It's actually 6840, but I'm 6900. I've reset the altitude to 8000, which will be in the missed uh, uh, approach altitude to fly back. And I'll show you. Here it is. So we are here, coming in. There's the missed approach point. We do a left turn back to the VOR and hold. And we'll see if that works. The, uh, again, the uh, GTN should come up with a uh, missed approach button. And I'm gonna, I don't have a TOGO button in this plane, but uh, I think that serves the same purpose. All we have to do is operate the throttle. All right, currently we're four miles from the missed approach point right there. There's the airplane. We're at 6,900 feet. Been making the radio calls. Looks like there's no traffic in the area, which is nice. Don't have to worry about that. So as soon as we get to the missed approach point, we'll be looking for the GTN to light up and give us uh, the button to push, which would be like the Togo button, I guess. Anyway, we got a minute, 30 seconds. Uh, we'll restart when we get there. Okay, we've only got uh, 1.8 miles to the missed approach point. Uh, give you a shot of the airport. Really, really smoky today. I guess they got some fires in Colorado that's blowing stuff down here. We've got one in Santa Fe that's uh, also contributing. But uh, anyway, uh, we've got 41 seconds to the uh, missed approach point, and we're one mile out from the airport. Real high, again, because of the uh, a lot of the rising terrain around the coral. Have to be careful. There's also some restricted airspace over to the east. So we're coming up. We got a half mile to go. Waiting for GTN to light up. And it says we're arriving at the waypoint, so we should get uh, the GTN to give us the uh, missed approach navigation. And there it is. All right, activate GPS, missed approach, bingo. Do that, we're on nav. You'll notice it's, the autopilot is starting to make the turn. Left turn out, perfect. That's what I'm looking for. Escort traffic, we're still 585. Remember Mike, off the uh, missed approach, and we head back to the OR. It's a coral. I'm gonna do indicated airspeed for the climb and give it some power so we can climb up, do those up. Yeah, about 80 knots, plenty. Actually 85, dialing down. Not too much. All right, there we go. A little more throttle. And really, if you're in the really the stuff, that would have been a full throttle, uh, missed approach point. You want to get up as quickly as you can. So we're heading back, it's making the turn. And the navigation's working perfectly. Be nice if I centered the ball. There we go. You'll see it's looking for this course. It'll intercept it as we go up to 8,000. Should enter the hold. As soon as we get on the course, I'll stop the 
this part of the video until we get to the hold and watch it enter the hold. And here's some more of that uh, rising terrain. Not very clear because of the smoke in the air. And score traffic for still 585 to Mike, uh, exiting the uh, pattern to the north. Squirrel. So all this is working absolutely perfectly. Course is coming in. The autopilot should capture it. There we go, it's making the turn. Heading bug back close to where it should be. The autopilot's doing it without me doing the heading bug because we're on nav on the autopilot and not heading. Okay, so it's on that course. And now all we're going to do is wait until we get to the uh, BOR, which is 16.2 miles. We've got about a minute to the uh, BOR. Give you an idea all the smoke that's in the air and the visibility is just lousy. Clearly enough for BFR, but really kind of crummy. I don't smell the smoke, which is cool. But and the uh, autopilot and GTN should probably do a parallel entry. I would suspect that's uh, what it's called for. We'll see. And it, when it does that, it should also suspend, so it just stays in the hole till I unsuspend it. So we've got uh, 25. Okay, now this is interesting. It's showing whole teardrop. Really, you could do either one uh, when you're coming straight in like that. But really, a parallel entry is probably more appropriate. But we'll let it do the teardrop entry and see if it suspends once it starts doing it. We got uh, what three seconds to go. Okay, it's making its turn to do the teardrop entry. Leveling off. Uh, interesting, I don't see the suspend, but, but I may not need it because this is the end of the flight plan. There's nothing after that uh, because this is the missed approach and the hold. Uh, so I'll show you the flight plan. And hold is the last thing, so that's probably why we don't have the uh, suspend button. We shall see. It's still doing its teardrop entry. And really, I would have liked the teardrop entry better, although I think parallel was probably more uh, appropriate based on the heading. But who am I to question what the uh, autopilot and the GTN are doing? Unless this scares me. And so far, it hasn't. No. And as soon as we make the turn around and get in the hold, uh, then I'll stop the video, start it again when we're just about ready to land in Albuquerque. regular map really shows the teardrop entry with the course it's holding. And so until you intervene it should just sit there and do laps in the hold which of course you'd be waiting for uh, Center to tell you what to do. You had to do a missed approach. Whether you're going to fly your alternate or try another another approach to Socorro. And Socorro, the better approach would be the RNAV, but it's further down and you come in from the opposite direction, but you get a lot lower. I'll wait till this thing starts making its turn, first lap of the hold. And 
it's telling me right turn, so it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Alright, so, talk to you when we get ready to land. We're flying the uh, RNF 3 approach to uh, runway 3, you're going to be full stop, obviously. And we've been cleared to land, and look at how smoky it is out there. You can barely see the sandy is. And downtown is there, but I'm not sure you can see it from the camera. River. And we've got uh, minutes and 20 seconds until we hit the runway. I say hit, let's say land on the runway. That's a better terminology. Alright, I'm bringing the RPMs down. Uh, we uh, did a pretty fast approach there. We're doing 134 knots on the glide path. We're now at 89 knots indicated. 3,500 RPM. We've got uh, 2.1 miles to the runway. I've got the minimum dialed in. I've got both fuel pumps on, the landing light, flaps not yet. I can put flaps in right now, 10 degrees. There we go. And we'll ride it down to the 5512 minimums. Before we take the autopilot off. 500. And these LPV approaches are great. They're just just about as good or better than an ILS. You don't have to worry about any interference with the ILS as long as GPS is working, which it is most of the time. In good shape. All right, we got 70 knots. It's coming down to 69. Uh, again, both pumps on, landing light. Flaps are in, chokes off, breaks off. We got two white, two red on the Vazzy. Yeah, just about right. 30, 3,100 RPMs. We got 67 knots indicated. Ground speed 70. Just about right. And 5,600. We're looking for 5,512. Take off the autopilot at that point and pull it back throttle a little bit. Got uh, wind at 360 at 4. A little Capital bit of a 345 minimums. Minimums. There we go. Autopilot's off. Line it up with the runway. Put some trim in to ease up the pressure on the stick. We got 60 knots. 58. 58. And throttle's all the way off. Line it up, look down at the end of the runway, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. There we go. Not too shabby, not the greatest, but not too shabby. Yeah, with a lot of braking, we could have made Fox 6, but why bother? Okay, we'll get off in Fox 3, probably. And that's the landing. Thanks a lot for coming along. See you on the next one.